Here we will study about various forms of equation of a line. What is the equation of a horizontal or a vertical line? We will study the equation of point slope form, two point form, slope intercept form, intercept form and at the end we will study about the normal form of a line. Let's take first thing first, horizontal and vertical lines. Now, this is my x-axis, this is y-axis. These two red lines, these are the horizontal lines, above x-axis, below x-axis. Now, you see here, this horizontal line, which is, let's say, the distance of this horizontal line, say L, and this is L1, the distance of line L from x-axis is, say, A. Now, if this is A, this would be negative a, this is on the negative side. Now, in this case here, when distance is a, this is a horizontal line, it means the y value, the y value will always be a for all the x values, be it positive value, be it negative value, for all the x values, value of y will always be a. Same is applicable to this line. L1, for all the x values, be it negative, positive, y value will always be negative a. So here, equation of this line would be y equals to negative a. So for a horizontal line, positive side, equation will always be y equals to a. For a horizontal line, which is negative side, equation would be y equals to negative a. Same is applicable to vertical lines. Now, let's take this as L1. Let's take this as L. This is positive side. This is negative side. This distance here. Let's take it as B. And this distance here, which is the mirror image, minus B. Now, now here, for all the Y values, X value will always be same, B y value is negative 100 or positive 100, x value will always be this distance b. So for a vertical line, equation would be x equals to b. I have named it as b. I am taking it as x equals to b. Here, negative side, x would be negative b. For all the y values, x value will always be negative. So, horizontal and vertical lines, horizontal line y equals to a, y equals to negative a, vertical lines x equals to b, x equals to negative. Now let's look into the point slope form. Here, suppose I have this point here, let's take it as x0 and y0 and I know the slope also. Let's name this point as say p, this line l has a fixed point PO whose value is x0, y0 and slope is M. Slope of this line L is say M. Let's take a point on this line itself. Let's name this point as say P and value is x and y. From the slope formula we know that value of M would be y minus y o over x minus x o. So, can I write it as y minus y o equals to m into x minus x o. So, in case of point slope form where we know only one point and the slope of that line, equation of that line can be written as y minus y o equals to m into x minus x o. Simple. In this case here, we know say two points, this point here and this point here. Two points are known to us. Let's take this point as P1 and this point as P2. We do not know the slope of this line. Let's take one more point here, right on the line itself. Imaginary point. Let's name this as P and value is x, y. This P1, let's take it as 
x1, y1, this as x2 and y2. Now, these three points are lying on the same line. It means all these three points P1, P and P2 will be collinear. We know that falling on the same line. In that case, slope of P1, P2 or P1, P or P2, P will be same. If I write it as slope of P1, P2, that will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Slope of P1, P would be y minus y1 over x minus x1. Since these points are collinear, it means slope of P1, P2 and P1, P will be equal. So I can write it as y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You solve this, this will get you y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. So, in case of two point form, means when we know two points and their coordinates, equation of that line can be written as y minus y1 into y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. This is the equation of this line in case of two point form. When we look into slope intercept form, means we know the slope of this line and we know where this line is cutting to any of the axis. Here, this line is cutting y axis. Suppose this point on y axis is say c. In that case, the coordinates would be x is 0, y would be c. Now we can use our point slope form where I knew one of the points and the slope. Here, if I write point slope form, we had y minus y o equals to m into x minus x o. Y I do not know. Here my Y O, which is C, Y intercept. Slope I know. X I need to know. X O is 0. Here X is 0. In that case, this will be Y minus C equals to MX or straight away Y equals to MX plus C. Same is applicable. Suppose this point here is say d comma 0 means x intercept value of x here is d y would be 0 in that case this would be y i need to know y o here is 0 m is known to us x minus x o here is d you solve this you get or you leave it as it is y equals to m into x minus d so slope intercept form we know the slope and any of the intercept, y intercept or x intercept. In case of y intercept, this would be y equals to mx plus c. In case of x intercept, this would be y equals to mx minus mt. Intercept form. Here, we do not know slope, but we know y intercept, we know x intercept. In case of y intercept, x would be 0. Let's take y as B. In case of x intercept, let's take x as a, y would be 0. Now we know two coordinates. We can use two point form where y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. We can use this formula here. So I'll write y I need to know y1 is 0. This is 0 here. y2 is b here, b minus y1 is 0, x2 is 0, x1 is a, x I need to know, x1 is a. You solve this, this would be a goes this side, negative a y equals to bx minus b a. Let's divide both the sides by b a, this would be negative a y over b a equals to b x over 
B A minus B A over B A. So this will be gone. So can I write it as negative x over a minus y over b equals to negative 1. If I cancel negative from both the sides, this will be x over a plus y over b equals to 1. So in case of intercept form, where we know x intercept and y intercept, the equation would be x over a plus y over b equals to 1.